Hello, today I'm going to show you how to activate a King Gamer key that is meant for the Microsoft Store. There are two main ways you can do this. Uh, we're going to go over the easy one. When you have Windows 10, like I do here, you can see this um, search bar down below, right here. If you click on it and start typing Microsoft, you're going to get the Microsoft Store app. You can click on here or here, it doesn't make a difference. And it's going to bring you to the home page of the Microsoft um, Store. Yours will likely be different than this one. It's, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, and that's no problem at all. Now, you're going to notice your uh, profile photo here, even if it doesn't show entirely, and these three dots to the right. When clicking on it, you get a drop down menu. And on the fifth, option top to bottom you see the option that says redeem a code this is what you're looking for first so you click on it and you're going to get a pop-up right here this one is going to ask you for a code i think all microsoft codes are 25 characters if not then uh, you can enter the characters that you have on the on the key on your eShop.kinggamer.com account you can enter um, the code without the dashes. That's not necessary because this is going to populate by itself. And after you're done, it's going to tell you whether or not the code is right or if it's uh, if, if it's invalid. This one is not found because I was just entering random numbers, but that's perfectly normal. If you're getting an error message, I'd recommend you go back to your key and make sure and double check and triple check that you're entering the key correctly. It's very easy to mistake a one for an I or an L, for instance, or an O and a zero, things like that. Also make sure that you're, that you're entering the entire sections. Um, for instance, if you have five sections of five characters, you wanna make sure that you're not entering four sections of five characters because that has happened before. So just be on the lookout for that. If you are entering the key correctly and you're positive that you're entering it correctly, then you can find a link in the description below that's going to take us to our claims page and that would have instructions on how to reach us. Or you can reach us on the um, contact us link as well on our um, eShop.KingGamer.com site. So anyway, when you enter the correct, the correct code, it's going to accept it and it should start downloading it um, automatically. And you can check on it anyway. You can go back to the three dots, go to my library. You're gonna see all that you have. I have this one here. It's a chess game that I installed already so you can see how it looks. It has the option launch because it's already installed. I also have this one, Roblox, that I added yesterday but I didn't install so that you can see how it looks. Instead of launch, it says install. You can also find these Roblox here on the ready to install uh, tab right here on the left. You can see it right here and you can click on it, install. That's going to start the download in case it didn't start automatically. You can see now it's starting download and you can also see it here on the download tab. In the download queue you have Roblox. So that's uh, already starting. I don't want to download it so I'm going to stop it. And once it's installed, you can go back to your um, install tab or your all owned. And now that application or that game, whatever you're getting, will have the launch option and you will be able to use it. So it's a very easy process. Uh, when you have Windows 10, you already have this Microsoft Store app by default. So it shouldn't be too complicated and I hope this video uh, made it easier for you. Thank you, and see you at kinggamer.com again. Bye-bye.